a new dawn is fast approaching. I am about to defeat the terrifying final boss of Minecraft, the Ender Dragon, with an iron shovel. But every hero has a story. Every catastrophe can be defeated with the right plan. Here is my story of how I defeated the Ender Dragon with an iron shovel. It begins like any other fight, where I enter the end with full iron armor and enough food, beds, and blocks to fight off a zombie apocalypse. I start by destroying some of the end crystals with my bow, and land a few clutches here and there. I also set up the one cycle and run around destroying the crystals. After building up to try to destroy an end crystal, I noticed that the dragon was coming down, so I did the only logical thing. I failed the boat clutch, and then I went into mid to whack it with an axe. but then I mess up badly. I explode a bed without a block in between. While I was far enough away to survive, the fire killed me in the end and burned some of my stuff. Moving on, I now have less resources to work with, but I still thought I had it in me to kill the dragon. I destroyed more of the crystals and landed a few MOG waters when necessary, as well as hitting the dragon a bit with my axe and going up to destroy it some more or end crystals. That just hurts to watch. But then I realized I had no water. This was bad. but I it was able to push through, destroy the crystal, and collect my water. However, this was only the beginning. Running out of blocks, I was forced to mine in for end stone so that I could continue destroying the crystals. Seeing the dragon perch, I decided to come down and attempt the one cycle, and I failed very badly, but that's fine. I would hit the dragon with an axe a couple of times in vain as it would run away, and I would be forced to continue my quest to destroy the end crystals. I was even forced to use an ender pearl like I would use a bow so that I it could save blocks and continue the path to killing the dragon. After a close call and having to use a crafting table to block clutch, I managed to make it up the very last end crystal and punch it with a bucket to blow it up. Then, the dragon was going in, so I had to as well. I decided that I it had to go for the MLG, and I landed it. Everything was going to plan. I thought I was going to kill the dragon. Everything was going to go great. It was just a waiting game of me versus the dragon.
I then had the biggest, big smart moment of my entire life. Calamity that I never would have foreseen happened, where I couldn't get my water bucket into my hopper and ended up dead. I knew there was still hope though, as I still had one stick, a block of wool, and you guessed it, an iron shovel. This iron shovel would later be vital to my success, but for now, I had the idea to mine wood that I had towered up with so that I could at least make some wooden weapons. This, however, would take an extremely long time. I had to do it though, so I did. I was interrupted in my wood gathering when the Ender Dragon decided it would be a great idea to come down to face the wrath of my iron shovel. For those of you who don't know, the amount of time a drag the dragon stays perched is based on the amount of damage that either you do to her, yes the ender dragon is a girl, or she does to you. Like if you were bumping into her and then you do a bit of damage to her, she'd actually fly away faster for some reason, like you won't be able to get as many hits. But this means that I can whack the ender dragon with my extremely hard iron spoon all I want. And it's, it's very extremely large, you know. Then she finally decides that she's tired of being cereal and leaves the center fountain. I decided to continue mining wood as you do when you need to kill a terrifying dragon and you only have a spoon. After taking a beating, I knew that all I could do was try and get more stuff while I waited for my moment to smack the dragon with a spoon. The only problem is that I am an impatient person who is very bad at not dying to anyone. I died to one after trying to 1v1 it with a spoon because that's the, the best thing you can do if you're trying to kill a dragon, getting distracted. I also just can't play video games. After that one death, however, I, it's, I started to feel like I had started anew. All of my past mistakes, they don't even matter. The dragon was at half health, I could sit there, I could punch it if I needed to. And even though my spoon was not with me, I had the spirit of my spoon. And then, with my iron shovel in hand, with, with all of my courage, I knew that the dragon would come down one last time. I made a sword and an axe, and I got the dragon low. Then, as a fitting end to my heroic journey, I killed the under dragon with just an iron shovel. It was over. I won. I defeated the Ender Dragon with an iron shovel. And though I made many mistakes, I realized everyone makes mistakes, not just me. I realized that even though I can't play video games, I had gotten far enough that it didn't even matter and I could just whack the Ender Dragon with a spoon until it was dead. I but most importantly, I learned that after killing an enderman with a spoon, I really should have just had my water bucket in my hot bar that entire time. I shouldn't have forgot it in my furnace because beforehand I had used the lava bucket to smelt some food, but I never took the bucket out because I'm smart. Just put the water bucket in your hot bar. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.